This is the JLab Go Air Pop True Wireless Earbuds. A member of this family suggested that we talk about this video and before we go ahead I want to say thank you for making this suggestion. You said I should not mention your name so I'm not going to do that but I want you to know that I appreciate you. Alright, let's get back to it. The JLab Go Air Pop True Wireless Earbuds. This has been around since February of 2022 so it's been around for about two years now. Um, it comes in several colors that include black, lilac, teal, slate, rose, pink, violet, and navy. Now I know there's a lot of colors so you will definitely find something that suits your style in there. Today we're going to be have today we're going to talk about the teal version as well. We have here the teal. Um, some of the specs on the box as we look include uh, 32 hours Bluetooth playtime, a MEMS microphone for clear calls, dual connect either earbuds, and lab quality sound with custom EQ. So the short version of all that is budget earbuds, budget range. All right, we don't know what to expect yet because we have never talked about this brand on this channel. This is going to be the first time so I don't know what to expect, but yeah, let us just go ahead with it. All right, cool. All right, let's pop this open and see what we got. So when you pop it open, this is what you get. Extra ear tips from large, small, and the manual here. Read your manual, you know how I feel about it. And the charge case with the earbuds inside. Now before we go any further, I wanna say this. JLab, what, what is this? What, what, what is this? You cannot be doing this in 2024. Granted, this came out in 2022, but even at that, it's not, a, it's not an excuse for you to package this, and this is just how you present it. Just just like this. This, this is wrong. Not cool. Not cool at all. Fix it. And this is the manual here. You know how I feel about it. We are not going to talk about every single thing on this in this review with this here, because people just don't want to watch a video that long. So read your manual. It's important that you do read your manual. There's some things in this book, this little leaflet that I'm not going to talk about on this video. Read your manual. All right. This is uh, this is the charging case with the earbuds inside of the JLab Go Air Pop True Wireless Earbuds. That is nice. Very very nice plastic. I like the way it feels. In my hand does it not feel cheap at all. It's not a fingerprint magnet. That's a plus. That's really cool. Uh, from what I can see, it comes with its own charging cable, so you do not need uh, to carry around a USB C, a USB, a USB Type C charging cable around. The downside to this, though, is if anything happens to this cable, you're done using these earbuds, or you're done using this unit. If anything happens to this cable, you cannot charge it again. So just put it away and get you another one. Even if the earbuds are still very are still working you just can't charge this anymore so yeah that's the downside to it upside to everything everything has got a downside all right we've got the jlab the jlab logo right here on the top uh indicator light right there and that's about it very small charging case super lightweight feels quite sturdy that's cool all right let's pop it open let's see what the, the earbuds look like bam all right that is nice that's neat nothing extraordinary looks like every other earbud around all right before we go ahead you know what we gotta do the shake test so let's go and the jlab go air pop passes the shake test that's cool that's cool let's pop this out and let's see what they actually really look like uh, so tight 
Come take it out. There we go. All right. This is the J Love Go earbuds, J Love Go Pop earbuds. Uh, they both have got the indicator lights on them, as you can see. That's cool. Uh, touch controls gotta be here. That's cool. Now, charge plates. See this here? I don't know if you can see this, but it is actually embedded in the earbud. It is not on the surface. Now, that could present a lot of problems because most times you find that with the charge plates just real deep in there, you tend to always miss the little pins here. When you put it in, sometimes the pins don't get in because they just stuck on the, on the, on the plastic there, so it doesn't really get in. That is where you have problems of people complaining that they put the charge buds in and they can't get a charge. Uh, nothing extraordinary about, about the design. Let us do a fit test. Let us see how, how easy it is and how well it fits. All right. Um, Quite a very comfortable fit, very comfortable. Uh, it's not dug in your ear, it's not way deep in your ear, it's super, super comfortable. And um, I don't think it'll fall off anytime if you're using this for, for exercises or riding or whatever, I think it'll be in place. Um, I think I'm wearing the right size ear tip so there's no pressure in my ear and it's not poking in my ear. It's very, very comfortable. That is very comfortable. I like that. I like that. Yeah. See that? Very comfortable. Yeah. Let's keep it moving. Let's try to pair these and see how easy it is to do. Let's go. All right. Let's try to pair these and see how easy it is to do. Firstly, you know the rules. Put it back in the earbud. Put it back in the charge case, sorry. Put the earbuds back in the charge case. You know how we do. And next, what you do, you pop it open and take them out again. I know, I know, I know it sounds ridiculous. Just follow the rule, just follow the, the process. Trust the process. Take these out, come on. Take these out. You go straight to your, your Bluetooth settings right there. There we go, and just like that, it's paired. Just like that, simple, easy. You do not need, a, need you do not need an app for this. You just pair straight, and you're paired. Very easy. Okay, I'm gonna just listen to something right now. Let me see how well it sounds, and then I will come back and let you know what I think. A few minutes later. All right. After listening to some music, this is what I think, okay? Now, this is the budget sense, this budget earbud in all sense of the word, okay? Even the sound budget level, I'll tell you that. Okay, first of all, great separation of sound, I'll give them that, but everything else seems to be lacking. It's like you hear it and it's like there's something missing from this sound. Um, there's a bass there, it's there, but it's, it's not very, very, it's not great, but it's there. Everything else is there, but not great. So, um, if you need this, this is just gonna be out of like, okay, there's no other option for you because I believe there are better options, better, better budget, budget earbuds that sound better than this. I'm not saying this is a bad sound, understand that. I'm not saying it's a bad sound, I'm just saying there are other budget earbuds that sound better than this, especially if you consider how much you're paying for it. Uh, this, this, there are better ones sounding way better than this. Uh, I expected more, I must tell you the truth, but that's what it is, what it is. I'm not saying it's a bad sound, please understand. It's not a bad sound, but it's not great. It's not great, but it's not a bad sound either. All right, after using this for about a few days now, for a few days now, uh, here are my observations. Um, like I said earlier in the front of the video, in the beginning of this video, this earbud, this brand is a real proper budget brand in every sense of the word. But let's start something. Something I'll give them credit for, their specs are actually quite accurate. Okay, like the battery life for instance, you get 8 hours of the battery life and you get 24 hours from the charging case which makes it 32 hours. The standby time is 60 hours. Standby time... Okay, I, I did not get up to 60 hours, I got 57 hours 
Standby time is a time, a period where you're not using the earbud, you're not talking with it, you're not playing music, you're not answering calls, nothing. But the earbud is on and connected to your, to whatever device you're listening to, your phone, your tablet, whatever. Now the earbud charging case takes two hours to charge from zero to 100 and the earbuds themselves the same time, two hours from a zero to 100. The Bluetooth connection is actually very, very steady at 10 meters and then some, say about 12 meters, you still get a constant uh, um, uh, connection. Very clear, very good. Uh, it's got an IPX4 rating for water resistance, so please do not just go plunging into the pool or take a bath or something. In, in, with, you, you will destroy it. You will destroy it. Um, call quality for me uh, has, has not been great. It's 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 clear enough if you ask me, but it's not been great. Uh, I'm not gonna lie about that. It's not been great. But as a matter of fact, just just listen to this and tell me what you think. This is what you sound like. Hello, T O B family. This is a mic test of the J Lab Go AirPod True Wireless Earbuds. You hear my voice right now. This is exactly how you sound when you're on the phone. Uh, go to the comment section and tell me what you think. Let's go. I know I'm forgetting some things right now. If there's anything you remember, please uh, put it in the comment, comment section and I will, I will respond. Thank you for watching the video till the end. Don't forget to like and share. If this is your first time here, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when we put out a new video. If there's something you'd like to see on this channel, leave it in the comment section or send me an email. For more videos like this, check out this one here, that one there, or check out our playlist. Until next time, take care.